Ocular from the Farmer's Grove. I'm going to talk a little bit about something that's called plant saturation. Now the difference between a monoculture or a regular orchard and a permaculture orchard or permaculture crops. What you're seeing here is Sudan grass, some, um, some millet. We have some comfrey right there. We have mimosa trees for, for uh, support tree and it's putting nitrogen in the ground for the pawpaw, which is inside the cage. But what I want you to think about how you're designing your own place, think about plant saturation, which means what is the amount of energy that your plants can use from the sun. If it's a monoculture or it's a standard orchard, uh, orchard type way, you're maybe gonna get about 30 to 40% of the sun's usage on that plant because when you have plant saturation, if these plants were totally out in the sun by about 10 or 11 in the south where I live in Tennessee, they've got all the sun that they can ever be able to take in until that evening. So most of the day, they're just kind of sitting dormant, almost in a coma. Now using polycultures like this, where we have different shapes, shades, uh, the way the sun moves, the plants will be in, parts of their leaves will be inside of shade almost all the time. And that allows that plant to always metabolize what's in the soil and use the sun to, to grow bigger and better and stronger. But if these pawpaw trees were just stuck out here by themselves, by about 10 o'clock they're gonna shut down and they won't start really working again to about four or five in the evening, maybe even six, as strong as our sun is here in Tennessee. So when you design polycultures, your plants actually, I think, are more nutrient dense. They have more um, uh, material in them that our bodies want. The plants are healthier because they get to use the sun all day. But in a monoculture or a standard orchard, orchard that is not the case. So even though this may look messy to some, and it is, to a point by growing things in these type of systems I'm having plants I mean just look how green the pawpaws are and how green the bananas are and how green everything is there's not a lot of competition even though there's a lot of plants but as the sun moves it's going to put a little bit of shade dapple shade across the plants that I'm growing and they get to metabolize all day long so that's one reason why polycultures always outperform monocultures with the individual plants. So think about this when you're designing. Plant saturation is real and it's something you have to design for if you're gonna be a true steward of your own system. So just keep that in mind. That's the reason you wanna have, have heights. You wanna have the support trees and you wanna have all the different crops that are gonna be intermingled it just makes happier plants that get to eat all day and metabolize all day and that's when stuff really gets to rocking so design this stuff in principle and i'll be you'll be happy that you did